I just got done surfacing two, actually three pieces of wood. I got um, maple, white oak, and then over here is a uh, butternut. The butternut one is for the uh, mangrove jack background, but this is for the three-dimensional bluegill. And I'm looking at this piece of wood, and I think this is about the best area right here. So it's gonna go about here. There's a little small crack here, I'll cut that off. And then what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna carve this down to depth. And then when I'm done with that, with all scales and all the fins detailed, I'm gonna flip it over, put in this jig I'm gonna make. I'm gonna carve this side. To give you an idea, this is also, this is also a six quarter right here. And this is the planned depth. So I got plenty of room to work with on this. And when this thing is done, it's gonna be pretty good. I really wish that I could have done it also on white oak, but it didn't turn out that way. And that brings me down to this piece right here. Um, I originally wanted this one for my wall of bluegill, but I really need a scroll saw first. Um, that Nautilus that I did is not in the place where it's gonna be. And so this one is gonna be up for uh, adoption and then I can pay for my scroll saw. So if anybody wants this piece right here, I can stain it however you want. And then I can send it off and then uh, get myself a scroll saw. So let me know if you want it. All right, I got this piece laid out on a piece of maple wood. Um, I'm not gonna put the iris in here right now because it looks better after I do it uh, so I can figure out what looks better when it's done. Uh, sometimes like when the piece is all shaped out, it looks different. So I'm just changing things up because I can do that. So from this stage, I'm gonna carve it like uh, I regularly do it. Um, it's gonna look like it's gonna be on a background. And then I'm gonna end up taking a scroll saw, which I have yet to buy, and I'm gonna cut this thing out exactly along these lines. And then I'm gonna take my sketch right here. I'm gonna flip it over. Now this side, all the background's gonna be cut off and I'm just gonna line up. I'm gonna have to figure out what points I'm gonna end up using as reference. I know it's gonna be the tip here. It's gonna be a tip here and maybe a tip here. I need uh, uh, three points of reference to make it accurate. I'm gonna take the sketch, I'm gonna put it down here and then I'm gonna end up tracing on the, uh, the backside, the fin, the gills, the eye, all this stuff that I just did on the, ver the reverse side. And I'm gonna carve that down after I make a jig for this. So this is gonna be the uh, three-dimensional bluegill. So keep an eye out for this one.